How about you, Pedro? Any good drugs in your life? Uh, do net books count as drugs? And welcome back to another Linux Game Cast Weekly. The show covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how tos, and most importantly, I see what you're up to. Whatever the hell else we come up with. I'm Ben. That's Jordan. That's Pedro. And together with you, Shatroom Dynamic, helping us form Cocaine Voltron. Now, before we get started, we'd like to see what's going on in each other's life organs. We just finished a riveting conversation about counting. It was, um, <laughs> it really added up. It, it was added, definitely a lot added, of that. Um, <laughs> Yeah, you, you you really got my number there, didn't you? I, I genuinely have nowhere to go with that. But I did do a thing this week after taking two weeks off because I got in the most epic fuckbox uh, game of war boy on PC. I finally went back and I beat the game. If you're wondering, vending your way through it, I did one side quest through the entire game. 21.9 hours. I was impressed. Had a great time with it. I, I You know, you always do the calculation at the end of the game. It's like, how long did that take? How much was that? It balanced out very well. And I got to hang out with Teal the entire time. So I'm like, all right, and that works. And uh, what else? This thing. I'm playing around with this thing. This is, uh, oh, man, guess who didn't set up the Firefox? Uh, <laughs> ah, darkness <laughs> imprisoning me. Oops. Oh, man, I'm sorry. <laughs> there it is. Uh, this is an old SE 2200. And I'm uh, just playing around with it. I didn't mean to get it. This is the byproduct of... You need to get the hell off Guitar Center sometimes because you'll do a search and you'll see something like, I don't need that, but it's like 50 bucks. All right, fine. I guess I'll get it. Um, yeah. The dangers yeah, of that. Jordan, you're aware I, of the. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm hovering over that with like a Casio keyboard. I'm like, <laughs> do I do I really need a Casio keyboard? No, but it's 14 bucks. Um, no. Um, yeah, I, I finally got around to upgrading the uh, Jackbox here to Kernel 516. Yeah, the, the low latency improvements of her USB audio. They're fucking legit. Dude, man. It's yes. Like night and day, night and day. Um, also, I uh, did a testing week this week, powerlifting wise. I bench about 350. Well, 360. So, you know, that's that's good. Very good. Um uh, wrote, 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 wrote to four hundred underway. Wrote but I, I I get I yeah, wanna wanna do four oh five for uh, my bench press. But you, right you, right now I do about tree fifty. Are you talking like kilo feet? Yeah. Right. Deca leagues. Deca leagues. <laughs> <laughs> like like seriously, are you talking kilos or pounds? Bounce. Bounce. All right. I could do Yeah, that. I I I don't think I could bench four hundred kilos. That's that's a lot. <laughs> That'd be four of me. <laughs> yeah. that, 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 that is, that is very close to the deadlift record. So <laughs> I don't think I can, I don't think I can out bench. With Listen, all man, I don't know if you're on like some of those like good drugs. How about you, Pedro? Any good drugs in your life? Uh, do net books count as drugs? <laughs> you're fucking, if you grind them up and snort them. Yes. You, you're making a heroic <laughs> attempt at making them. Um, <laughs> if, if, yeah, if, if you yeah. like cook them down in a spoon with some water and like put them in a syringe and inject them in your veins when, when you're not busy <laughs> spying on people's data look to be fair i didn't win the uh auction that uh had three of these asus triple e pc uh 701s Three of them. Uh, two of these uh, pearl white ones and that blue one that's in the table back there. And um, so can you make the Megazord? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's the real questions. Uh, but I did end up getting the emails like, oh, yeah, the person who won the action didn't pay. So do you want to for the 20 bucks or the 20 uh, pounds that you bet? It's like, yes give so i've been yeah i've been looking through them to see if people had uh, the previous owners had left anything so you got three yes. books at one time did you like spread them out on the floor and like roll around on them <laughs> no uh, i just made them work one is running haiku that one that i showed is running haiku the one back there that nori is now her writing machine effectively that's running debian and uh, the other one that i have is running lxle so yeah it's so, so, so where did the uh, Windows 7 starter license go? Okay, here's what I'm thinking. See if you can, <laughs> Down the drain. <laughs> see if you can get uh, Windows 3.11 from work groups up and running on one. See, see if you can just get like DOS running DOS 5. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you can do you can just set up free DOS on literally no, anything. That free, free DOS doesn't count. Free DOS doesn't count. <laughs> MS -DOS, you, 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 need, you need to get you need to get a floppy drive, a USB floppy drive, and install Windows 10. 
on your netbook. That's going to be the hard bit, the USB floppy drive. <laughs> well, the expensive bit, probably. <laughs> uh, it's not cheap. Nay, practically free, like the horse. I mean, the horse is pretty cheap. <laughs> Just like your mom, it's the Steam Linux. Linux. Update of, of the week. week. And also your mom. <laughs> yes, and uh, apparently the 25th. That's that that that's surely shaping up to be an interesting day, uh, and yes, the uh, the Steam Deck, the Gabe Gear, whatever you want to call it, it is apparently going to start rolling out for people who put up their um Five reservations. Schmuckles. Reservations, yes, yes. <laughs> uh, people who put down their reservations uh, will be started. Will start getting emails on the twenty fifth uh, when we were having this discussion earlier on. Um, Discord is also the day that um, Elden Ring comes out, and it's also the day that a certain someone who I live with uh, that they were born. So, <laughs> so, so no Elden Ring for Pedro. Got it. Oh uh, no, 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 no! What you see, what you see, is a mind perplexed right now because he's trying to work all these into one thing. Yeah, yeah. This is this is. The, I'm uh, trying this is to the work Sherlock. all of these into one paycheck. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. No, uh, but uh, the, the, the good thing is uh, emails are getting sent out in the order that reservations were received. None of this lottery <laughs> shit. It's good old fashioned FIFO for the win. Uh, and you get 72 hours from the time you get your email to complete the purchase before you go to the back of the line. Back of the Dude, line. Dude, okay, <laughs> we got to look at this now. We had that one delay. We had that one delay, you know, we all thought we would have our dicks in hand right now. A little delay on the dicks, but. Minimum valve time. All things considered, these go out when they claim. That's pretty nice. And you think about this, man. Not just Linux gamers. Not Windows gamers. Not the poor people that have a Mac. Just PC gamers in general. Technology enthusiasts. After two years of this shortage, overpriced bullshit, we need a win. Mm -hmm. And this is kind of mm -hmm. a little win. This is a little victory. Like, hey, we can kind of get a thing that we can play with and do games. It's a nice portable yeah, PC. Toilet. Yeah. I mean, something to play around with that's affordable. And yeah, the anti-scalping mechanism. See how difficult that is to implement for yeah. companies that <laughs> want to do it. <laughs> and right. it's... Uh, it. Valve has the possibility of putting out a gaming device when people can't buy a gaming computer with a decent GPU in it. And you have, come on. <laughs> <laughs> a heavily subsidized well, yeah, laptop, no, uh, but like, Hey, it runs games. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah it, it is. It is a laptop APU and a faster one that we currently have. So <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, I, now I get to see just how late I was after, you know, the Steam store, when the reservations went up, it was spitting 502s and 503s at me. And then it told me that my Steam account wasn't old enough when I've had that Steam account for 16 years. But yeah, yeah. it's minor. <laughs> <laughs> it, can't, it, can't, it can't drink alcohol. It's got to be 18. What are you talking about? Andrew, it's got to be 18. Uh, this is fantastic for everyone um, who's managed to legitimately like build up a little dick fund and they're not mm -hmm. going, uh oh. Um, <laughs> Can we sell the cat? Hmm. <laughs> Can I eat this month or will I have to feast on games? I will sit back. You know, I'll probably buy a baby dick uh, like later on after the after you can just go the initial there. wave. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like we're, yeah. We're, I, I don't know. There, there, there's all, there's always going to be like manufacturing defects that we're only going to like find out about once it gets into like a shit ton of people's hands. Mm -hmm. There's going to be, there's yes. going to be like software <laughs> issues at the beginning. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm with that. I'm going to, I'm going to wait a little bit. Hopefully, hopefully like you'll be able to just buy one normally eventually, instead of having to go through the reservation system right. at some point. I, um, you know, yeah, and, and, and I'm and basically just doing it so I can have an Nintendo switch. Yeah. yeah, so you can you can emulate some Bayonetta. That's pretty much it, man. It's <laughs> load user. <laughs> it is my Nintendo loophole. To play some Bayonetta. Steamwork feature update though. Dynamic yeah. cloud sync. I thought it did that. Well, uh, this one is a little bit more enhanced now. You got to turn it on on a per game basis uh, for your deck developers. But when enabled. Uh, when your player suspends the Steam Deck, it will automatically sync whatever save files they have for Cloud Save to the Steam Cloud. So theoretically, if you were to go and suspend your Steam Deck, go to your computer, launch your game, you could pick up theoretically where you left off. Hmm. Um, hopefully this. Yeah, the going vice versa, on the other hand, which I think is kind of the big problem is like for me, 
like, okay, I got to like get up and go somewhere. I want to take my shit with me. Um, in on my desktop now, I have to like save, quit, and exit. Uh, if I suspended my um, if I suspended my Steam Deck, do I need to like sync the saves and reload another save? I don't know. There's there's some questions to be answered there. Um, but you know, it's it's otherwise it's a pretty good feature, right? Like e- even if it's not like fully thought out, being able to move more freely between deck and regular PC is always a plus. More developers actually need to enable cloud saves, though. Uh, that seems to be a recurring yes. problem. Uh, as, as someone who has multiple computers I play video games on, uh, you know, yeah. I, I, I would like some consistency, please. And those developers that do enable cloud saves, please, please, by all means, I fully support, you know, the cloud saves and what they're trying to do with the uh, the game gear here. Just go into suspend mode and it automatically triggers the Steam cloud. Yes, please. However, sync the saves, not the settings. Because, and I'm looking directly at uh, Hot Wheels Unleashed here, because playing it on this box, 2560 by 1440, everything cranked, yes. Going to play it on the laptop, I don't want that. I want 1080p with everything down to minimum, so I can at least get 60. Okay? Yeah, you you would okay. think with the Steam Deck, <laughs> that's going to be extra critical, too, because, like, right. you, know, you're, you, you have battery-optimized <laughs> settings. I don't, I don't know, I, I guess it really depends uh, on... Uh, it's. Uh, it depends on how the game is storing their saves, because if they store, like, the user config and the saves all together, then that's a problem versus, like, saving. Well, here's a question that I'll just throw out there. I'm speaking from ignorance, and because we see this with um, retro gaming all the time, save states. Mm-hmm. Is something like that possible on a modern gaming, or is that going to be very, like, hardware dependent on... Yeah, I, th- I, th- I think I think it's very it's very much hardware dependent, right? Because part part of why you can do save states in an emulator is because you have that layer of abstra- abstraction. You you're mm-hmm. you're running the code in a virtual machine. You can just say like stop memory here, pick up where you left off mm-hmm. later on. And uh, those are usually teeny tiny games, comparatively speaking. So whatever contents are there, they will fit in RAM or they will fit in a teeny tiny file on whatever file system you happen to be using if you have a 100 gigabyte game <laughs> that's taking well, like 12 like, gigs of ram that yeah, save state is going to be a pain in the butt <laughs> but I, I i don't know maybe, maybe with like with like ultra fast storage and like uh like 3d nand and shit you might be able to technically make something like that work <laughs> that in, was in the, the spiel for the ps5 and yet no game has made use of that thing yet how dare you besmirch Ratchet and Clank? <laughs> also, I can't get a PS5, so oh, shut up. <laughs> so I know this next thing, I know we've probably talked about it before, but I wanted to give it another mention because I get irritated digging through some forums and every time I clicked on the link and it was like, are you over the age of 18? Yes. And I, if you ever feel useless, remember the checkbox of remember me or remember my decision on this computer exists on the mm-hmm. Steam web store. <laughs> so I went, I was like looking around then. Kismet. I saw a dude post. What's his name on Twitter? Um, the Steam DB guy. I can't think of his name right Pavel? now. Pavel. Didn't check. Yes. Yeah. He posted like, "Hey, everyone, you do remember that this exists?" And it's like, "Hey, you know what? Let's remind everybody about the Steam DB Chrome extension, Firefox extension, and Chrome extension." Yeah, it's still a Chrome <laughs> extension. Let's be real. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure you could use the first one on the latter. But, I mean, it does this SteamDB ratings, last game updates, historical low prices, a bunch of useful player stats, and a bunch of stuff that I'd never used. The, but the then, actual game ID? Yeah. yeah. That's that's mm-hmm. handy if you're trying to find where your fucking saves and settings are. And yeah. if you're trying to get down with, like, inventory trading, all these, and uh, a gang of stuff I never use, but I suggest just, if you type it into Google, it'll be in the show notes. And it's got, you know, all the privacy stuff. Like, we we don't, he's not into collecting any of your data bits. But for me, for me, it nopes the age checks, which, like, mm-hmm. thank you. I'll run an extension just for that because Valve has a running joke to see how long they can go without ever fixing that. Yeah. <laughs> or the I, I, stuck I mean, shift keys in the client on Linux. But, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, well, I, I mean, it, it, it's funny. We were, t- we were talking about the Red Enhancement Suite uh, last week. Mm. And lo and behold, this comes up. And it's, this is basically RES, but for Steam. It's the SES, Steam Enhancement Suite. So, yeah, it, I mean, yeah, especially because if, you, if you're if you a Linux gamer, you got to cross-reference, like, ProtonDB, SteamDB, yes. PC Gaming Wiki. Yeah, yeah you're, well, you're going to have five or six tabs open, consolidating that to, like, one. 
It was very, very it would handy. be nice and it would be very handy if we could get that to work inside of the steam gland. Right? <laughs> oh my yes. god. Or <laughs> Valve. It is CEF, so we know Come on. <laughs> a number of facts and people from Valve watch this show. Hear me out on this. Uh maybe just the, the Proton prefix number on the game store page. You know, like so I don't have to go to the store yeah. page from the website, find out what it is, go back, then go dick. Or or even <laughs> you know how they have like browse local files, just like browse proton browse wine prefix, something like that. Just yeah. Yeah. Just something, something, <laughs> please. Just, just, just a little taste, just a little taste. Space Quest twenty ninety nine. It's not under the sea. No, it's, not, it's also it's not, also not under Sierra either. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I I, I want to bring this up. Uh, I just saw this when I was browsing around because I'm like, wow, this looks game breaking and next level. And I'm like, no, it didn't. It looked like this. I'm like, yes, okay, what's going on? Somebody's got a green Captain screen. Dave. Captain Dave. Lieutenant <laughs> 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 Gideon. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Commander Boris. Uh, the fucking Windows Movie Maker shit. It, it kills me. It's so good. <laughs> I love it. I love it. But like the riveting intro for Space Quest 2099. Aside Is that the Prometheus, possibly. I was just looking at the gameplay. I'm blast your way through the UK's forgotten favorite space adventure, Space Quest 2099. Enjoy. You need a space there, by the way. Quake three engine and uh, full motion video with special effects. It's, look at this. I mean, it's too yeah. real, too real. But how much would you pay for this first person nonsense? Nothing, because it's priced to sell for free. And despite what other small indie developers will tell you, it has online PvP and co-op. Coop. So Jordan I Taylor cool. as Captain Dave. You can experience this on Windows, but more importantly, Steam OS and Linux. Uh, you don't need much. You need a video card and seven gigajoules. Of data bits you, free on your HD. I think you just need a computer that can run Quake 3, right? That's, that's kind yep, of it. Pretty much. Because man. if you listen to the trailer, it's like, oh, every single time that the character person hits one of the enemies, it makes the tick, 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 like Quake <laughs> 3 does. I remember, yep. okay, this, here, <laughs> this is your weekly get the hell off my lawn moment when the <laughs> Quake 3 beta first just came out and we were floored because it had a Linux client along with a Windows client. I'm like, whoa, 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 what? Uh, we were just waiting for the update because we were getting updates like every other week they were doing an update to it to get rid of that sound. Like, this is a placeholder. Sound. No, the f- it wasn't. That thing stuck. It's no. still there today, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, you know, it's exactly. And it's who. in that trailer. Uh, whenever a character person hits something, tick, 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 tick. <laughs> that that's triggering some flashbacks in me. <laughs> well, let me tell you something. Something that's never hit me the right way is tactical RPGs. Oh, my, my friend, they hit me all too well. It hits, hits me like yeah, a fucking vets, cocaine high. I don't fantasy tactics. Yeah, <laughs> fake fucking square, please give us some more of that shit. But until then, 1C Games has us covered. They gave us, they uh, published uh, Felseal Arbiter's Mark, which was another tactics RPG uh, that I quite liked. Uh, and uh, this one, Reverie Night Tactics, it's out. Um, and it's, ba- so... The, it, it's based on the uh, Tormenta universe, which I had heard about because I like really obscure deep dives into RPGs from other countries. And Tormenta is the most popular RPG in Brazil. Uh, it's been published for a number of different rule sets. Uh, apparently, it said like comic books and stuff. So it makes sense that they would be making a video game adaptation. And as I like me some grid tactics games, I'm probably going to give this one a bit of a look. Uh, it's a bit expensive, though. Right now, what? It's 30 bucks Canadian. It's 15% off now. Uh, yep. But you can get it in a bundle with Fel Seal if you want, and and yeah, like I don't, I don't know, it, it looks it looks solid enough. Uh, There's a free what, prologue equivalent to a demo if you want to go have a look. It's yeah, if you liked Fel Seal, this this is <laughs> shaping to be a lot more of that. <laughs> Meh. Meh. I I don't know, and I I don't want to hate on it. I just I looked at it and I thought. Of both of you, when I saw that, I'm like, oh, they like <laughs> these games. They'll have something to say. And lo and behold, Jordan's like, I know some of the backstory for this. So <laughs> Yeah, I, 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 I was surprised. I'm like, oh, Tormenta. I know what the fuck that is. <laughs> Pretty decent. All right. Uh, that's going to do it for the Steam. What do we got coming yeah. up for the news? Coming up next, NVIDIA is finally supporting Linux gaming. Woo-hoo. Finally. Kind of. Also, also, they have a new video card out <laughs> or some shit. I don't, know. I, I don't fucking know. Man. And here we are. It's uh, the news are coming up. We just Say like geez. to take this. We take this time 
to basically stop the uh, the Linux news for a little bit and thank you. You, everyone who's watching and everyone who's crazy enough to decide, you know what, these guys, they're worth supporting. How so. do we get here when go. we were just a second ago <laughs> talking about murder cheese? Uh, I don't let, know. Let, <laughs> we, 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 we have a large number of murder cheese advocates in Discord who maybe want to help us out with our purchase of cheese for the purpose of sordid murder and other and other villainous acts uh you can head on over to patreon.com slash <laughs> linux cheese cast no uh linux game cast um become a patreon you get some cool stuff like access to our discord channel which you can get by uh, subbing to us on twitch twitch.tv slash linux game cast but patreon gets you some other cool stuff like uh our uh like access Wait, to our show notes at cheese? specific levels mm-hmm. you might you okay. might it, if, uh, well, well, we're going to add a Patreon goal where oh, if we get over a certain amount, we just cover Pedro in, <laughs> we, we just mumma, we just mummify Pedro in Velveeta. Can we, do we have to make like a cheesy and breathing we're, we're, hole? We're, 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 we're going to get Tom Cruise and we're going to get Brendan Fraser. I was hoping Fraser. for craft singles, but okay. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're getting Tom Cruise, Brendan Fraser, and just a mountain of Velveeta and we're going to, we're going to mummify Pedro. It's we we can make good. like a cheese product, but it has sprinkles. In it. Yeah, <laughs> we're, we're 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 going beyond cheese product. It's cheese experience. Oh man, loving that uh, cheese life. All right. Yeah, but uh, yeah, uh, access access to the show notes, uh, live our uh, live video feed for the pre pre super shows. In if you want to hear us talk about nose hairs and Ethereum and I don't know what 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 else are we talk about. I don't know. I just realized that we really should have did the uh, glorious egg roll. That would have been a great throw in, wouldn't it? Damn it. <laughs> damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Oh, well. Um, it yeah. Have, yes. uh, yeah. We, 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 we have Feel a, uh, we, 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 we got to thank some, uh, new people as well. Uh, we got to thank George and Yannick. New patrons. Uh, uh yeah. New, George, new patrons. George. <laughs> George. New executive producer. And Yannick has joined us. Um, because uh, it's part of my clever plan to extract nickels and quarters from people so they can come play track mania with the group. Uh, he joined us for the you, trick you, you laundry machine you dude man I'm, I'm, I'm making it rain and you gotta watch out because it's like all small <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 all, it's all it's all coins you're just yeah. like emptying a sock of nickels off like a Those roof dog leave a mark man you gotta watch out uh that is one thing uh if you're twitch up or you can hop in our discord if you're on discord or um patreon we do the track mania thing on tuesdays and fridays now and you're welcome to come hang out with us it's kind of a blast but speaking of making it rain Pedro, you got a game, Bukaki. I did. I got two games because apparently it was International Gift Pedro a game uh, on Tuesday. Uh, so um, yeah, uh, Fox Dog uh, get, got me Risk of Rain two because I was talking about the first Risk of Rain, and uh, someone asked, "Oh yeah, uh, have you tried uh, Risk of Rain 2? I was like, "Not yet. I'm waiting for a sale." Window pops up on the other screen, and Fox Dog has gifted you Risk of Rain 2. Dang it. Thank you, Foxy. Thank you. And then uh, our Theron came up and said, ooh, is it International Gift uh, Pedro a Game Day? Uh, so then he gifted me the Devil May Cry HD collection. Mm-hmm. Thank and, you. And then, Thank you very and, much. And, and then he <laughs> saw, like, starving little Jordan in the corner with his tiny Tim crutch. And 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 is like, oh, this, this, this boy needs a pity fuck. So he bought me a copy of uh, Siberia Sam, the, the new one that yes. came out. <laughs> So uh, thanks, thanks a lot, Arthur. No, that's like really you awesome. You all are yeah. crazy, but very, very generous. So thank you. I, I like the fact that our community just straight up inflicts shit on us. They're like, yeah, fuck like, this. Go play this. Did, monkey. did you want to? Yeah, you want to play this game? Too fucking bad. You are. Uh, that, that, that's thing that's that how we I got. started streaming Cyberpunk, man. Exactly, man. So we do got a thing. Uh, Amazon wish list. If that's your thing, if you want to end up on this wall back here, that's I don't have one personally, but I got one for the studio, studio equipment, helping us out with that. Uh, that's how you get shamed on that unless you specify. Otherwise, you will end up there. Jordan has one with weights and probably swords on it. Do oh, really nice cables. Four thousand <laughs> Pokemon. Cables. He had Pokemon for the Switch. <laughs> chairs, microphones, controllers. Pedro has sandpaper, filters, uh, a Two, knife, yeah, <laughs> lock <blades>. picks, uh, <laughs> and, and some RAM. Things. RAM for laptops. Yeah, I mean, looking at Pedro's <laughs> oh, list, you would think he's like, I don't know, one of his hobbies is like home invasion. But speaking <laughs> speaking of nose hair trimmers, scroll down there a little bit. I, I thought I saw some like personal grooming shit. Yeah, there is. It's a bear trimmer, but yes, a bear trimmer? <laughs> yeah. Where? Oh, this. Oh, 
Yeah. Right there. <laughs> nine all in one. I don't know. We could probably shave. We just, you just have to hold yeah, him down. Yeah. Like, we'd need a couple. Oh, yeah, no, no, it, it, get... comes with the, it comes with the nose shaver thing. Like, that's, that's the what, first thing. He's, it's going to take a while. That's what I'm saying. This is going to be like a war of attrition. We're going to need a couple people to keep him steady. <laughs> Yeah. I, 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 can hold, I can hold him down. I'm just saying the cheese goes, is going to wear off eventually, man. He'll come back and uh, let's see. What do I got? Uh, oh, we, we, we got a, we got a store. We got oh, you. You got I got you one got, too, got, man. But you got a yeah, wish list. Yeah. Nothing. <laughs> nothing you can afford. <laughs> it's equipment <laughs> bullshit, man. <laughs> so there you go. And uh, what do we got? Yep. Store. 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 You can buy some t-shirts, stickers, fanny packs. Uh, I don't. I don't think we have masks, but we do have coffee mugs, so you can use those to cover your face, uh, like Bill Lumberg. But yeah, uh, have put me on your chest in your cleavage. You can have a lonely penguin. You can rep your favorite brand of fictional mayonnaise. Mm, mm, mm. Now, <laughs> Jordan's about to tell you what insight is. It's more like in sync. <laughs> no, it's it's a new tool that, or not a new tool, an existing tool that NVIDIA has. It's a debugger profiler for GPUs, and they have a new version out for you to download. This is the 2022.1 release of uh, NVIDIA Insight, and it has Linux gaming improvements, meaning that you can run it on Ubuntu and profile some games, I guess. <laughs> Uh, that, that's, that's all the release notes say whether or not this is just for native games or if it covers Proton as well to be determined. I haven't fired this fucker up yet. Supports Vulcan 1.3. Nothing's really using it yet, but when you're making dev tools, you want to make sure that you support the latest and greatest. Uh, and it, one neat thing, it is using the steam Linux runtime for all its Linux dependencies, which I thought was kind of neat. That's very good. Well, that's very good. And <laughs> with the Vulcan support, you'd think that, yeah, that probably supports Proton on accounts of everything being Vulcan there, so. <laughs> Mayhaps. Maybe. Mayhaps. Yeah. But don't let that get you too excited because NVIDIA's like, yo, check this shit out. Ah, uh, we're talking about <laughs> the internet's favorite new video card for this week. The GeForce. Only one they can buy this week. RTX. 3050, it's been reviewed. They stacked it up against the Y, a 1660. Yeah, RTX. Listen, man, it's got experimental RTX cores, man. Okay. We're just going to go straight to the benchmarks because it, <laughs> that's what we care about. That's what, that's yeah. all we care about. So, well, well, give me the numbers. Ask Creed 1080p Ultra High. Our um, 6500 XT, the internet's favorite card from last week, manages a whopping 26 average. However, <laughs> however, this gaming juggernaut, this beast, this monster from NVIDIA, the 3050, can do 54. Still doesn't quite eke out the 6600 XT. My God, though, that <laughs> fucking, that fucking <laughs> delta between, between the, the, the yeah. 5600 and the 6600, man, that's, uh, oh, man, that's rough. If Dude, okay, now, the really, really sad thing about this is both the 6500 XT and the 3050 fall short of my almost three-year-old 2060 no cape edition. Six yeah, by, by a long shot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're, we're talking like, yeah, I like struggling to like only struggling kind of at 1080 p 60. Um, <laughs> 1440 is a hold. I'm just kidding. It's, it's the same dumpster fire. Uh, the 3050 is significantly better than the 6500 XT. Now, yes, it has double the VRAM. <laughs> it, 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 has, it has higher than PCI 4.0. It, it has, it has genre. Uh, def- right. Listen, man, uh, it's got things like hardware encoding and decoding. It it it, it, is, it has coding, the advantage of being gigabytes of VRAM and of four. Code, yeah. it, it it was designed as a not laptop <laughs> GPU from the ground up. Oh, you're yeah. just never gonna let that go, are you? No. <laughs> yeah, no. When it if it ever comes close to like the 150 currency monies mark, it'll be a good card. But uh, it's already sold out, and it mm-hmm. sold for way past its MSRP, which was already too expensive. But hey, you know yeah. what? You know, <laughs> let, let, let's go shopping for a 3050 and see. Uh, All right, yeah, the MSRP was what, uh, 350? <laughs> Linux, Linux Amazon cast. Let's see. Yeah, let's, <laughs> let's go to the egg. Let's go to New Egg. 
Oh, oh my God. Uh, okay, <laughs> hang on, hang on. Uh, 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 <laughs> That's oh. even worse. <laughs> Low hash rate too, motherfucker. Oh man, is that the okay? We just got to check out the shopping. Then who's mm. does anybody have these? In, <laughs> oh, good, right or not? These are all thirty sixties, though. These are all thirty sixties. Yeah. Uh, who has the thirty? Uh, the only thing I go saw ahead. was on you, egg, right? Or did we? Where do you yeah. want to go? Uh, uh maybe 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 uh, put put the thirty fifty in quotes. Just okay, just to try to yeah, just, uh, yeah. <laughs> emphasize that. Okay, let's get rid of new egg. Let's just do <laughs> breaking journalism, Rivet, rivet riveting television. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Right. Four thirty nine. Five five hundred. Five hundred. Five fifty. Five fifty. Yep. Yeah. No. Fuck that mm-hmm. noise. Yep. No, that's like that's, that's like two hundred dollars over the MSRP, and that's the MSRP of the twenty sixty. Like, yeah, <laughs> Ven was the, hitting the, at the, earlier. This, the, <laughs> this is why I'm nervous about the Intel release because you know that MSRP looks all good until someone someone actually tries to sell it and puts a sticker on there. Like, well, this is this is the cruel joke about all of these because you know the thirty fifty with my uh, twenty sixty. This thing is about a solid you know average 15 20 percent slower than my almost three-year-old 2060 and it's 30 dollars more than this 2060 was at uh retail at launch date yeah mm-hmm. so this is this is where we're at and it sucks and yep. i i feel bad for anybody that legitimately has to go out and buy a video card right now because uh it's turd and shit sandwich yeah, Scott's pretty much right. You're better. You're 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 about as well off going and buying a full ass gaming computer, dude. Because it, yeah, you're you're paying marginally more for the CPU and memory attached to the GPU at that point. Right? <laughs> yeah. like, you're playing the GPU price for an entire computer with that GPU in it. How much do you think that plays into like all the prices that you're seeing? Like pretty reasonable prices on your CPUs and motherboards and cases. Yeah, yeah. I, I, that, that, I think that that is you exa- see a lot of those. Of that is- yeah, I'm saying like you like get it open the side panel like yoink and uh, let's yeah. see if I can make on back eBay. Some money. You see like. The pre-built with the like the cutouts open because they just pulled the G, uh, the GPU and they're selling the rest of the system. Mm-hmm. Oh, mm-hmm. okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but you know, you know, at the very least, if you get your hands on a sixty five hundred XT, it could run Tetra three D. Wiggle three D, man. Check this out. <laughs> Did you miss the old battle, battle days like the PS one type stuff? The oh, even even further back, we could go. We can go all the way back to Saturn with some of the wiggle polygon yeah. nonsense. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> this this is what Tetra 3D aims to recreate. It's a software hardware, it's a hybrid render, so uh primarily for video games. Of course, you'd probably want your Tetra 3D powered desktop eventually, so you could have, I don't know, seizures. But <laughs> compared to a professional 3D rendering system like OpenGL or Vulcan, it's slow and buggy, but it's also janky, and I love it for that. Tetra 3D is largely implemented in software, but uses GP for rendering you know, triangles and stuff like that. This is just neat. I love stuff like this because you remember maybe last month we were talking about the um, Unity shader, which was a PS1 shader effectively. Mm-hmm. This is just going full bore on it. This is next level. And I am very happy to see something like this because... I was just joking years ago when I said, you know what, hipster pixel graphics are so last year, up next, hipster polygons, and man, <laughs> here they come. Whoa. I mean, I, mean I, I, get, I, get a, I get a nostalgia hit from it, I'm not going to lie, I, but I, th- that's just the product of the time I grew up in. Uh, but yeah, uh, this is all done in Go. Um, this is, this is actually, um, it's, it's supposed to be basic N64 PS2 Saturn style graphics for very either simple 3d games, or if you want to add a little bit of spice to your 2d games. Mm-hmm. Um, and like Ben said, it's, it's very janky, but that's what happens when you're trying to, you know, write a new render from scratch mm. in, in go the, the, there's not also a lot of, um, three libraries for go as well. So it's good to see that like yep. people are trying to build up the domain knowledge. Because there's certainly we certainly need more people with that sort of. Level what do you think the experience. next thing is going to be, though? Once we have successfully conquered hipster polygons, uh, we're going to have it's, like it's, it, retro ray well, tracing well, or something. No, what, once once everything is in like the fucking metaverse, right? It's going to be hipster <laughs> sit down in front of a thing with a keyboard and a mouse and experience games the way that the olds did once upon a time. Oh, you mean like have to use your hands? Yeah, like instead of jacking into the matrix. Yeah. <laughs> 
uh, yeah. Matrix. Yes, yes. No, yes. I think the next thing is, uh, is before just talking about the big things. So if this is the Saturn era, and then you had like the slight improvement from there, and the biggest improvement after that was specularity. Like the everything looks shiny, everything looks wet, everything looks moist mm-hmm. of the Xbox 360 PS3 era. That might be the next one. <laughs> what, like a high gloss shader? Yeah. So, uh, I, I mean, there, <laughs> there might be a big retro. Extra shiny. <laughs> there might be a big retro demand for, you know, games you can run on a 6500 XT, right? Like we don't have, we don't have good GPUs anymore. They're not available. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I guess we should point out that the um, DLSS is available in 3050 because Satan knows you're going to need it. Uh, right? Yeah. That's, yep. that's the only way that card's pushing pixels, man. At 1080. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> what, what, what wine some more about it, Pedro? Oh, yes. Uh, there is a new version of wine. And yes, if you're uh, keeping track... Glorious Egg Roll did, in fact, release uh, Proton G 7.1 earlier, 30 minutes before we started the show, so there's that. But, uh, yeah, the new version of Wine 7.1 is available. It supports Vulcan 1.3, like, everything this week, because Vulcan 1.3 came out. Uh, there, They fixed a number of uh, theming issues, so it's, you get better theming with the Wine stuff now, and inheriting the theme that you have set up for your desktop. And what I noticed was the uh, like three or four games like Final Fantasy VII, the videos did not play. That's been fixed. Arx Fatalis didn't play the intro movie. That's been fixed. Uh, the Rising Kingdoms, the intro videos, they didn't play. That's been fixed. It's like, oh, yeah, someone's they're, been they're, doing some work on the uh, Windows Media stuff, haven't they? <laughs> yeah, they're, 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 there's, a, there's a couple more games that got fixed for Vanilla Wine as well. Sekiro no longer Seki Blows on Startup, and Far Cry no longer mm-hmm. Far Dies. Mm-hmm. Uh, Far Cry 5, that is. Also, apparently Pokemon Banish Platinum works now. I didn't know what the fuck that was, so I looked it up, and it's a pretty cool uh, fan remake of Platinum. Oh, okay. That implements yeah, a lot I, I was, of, like... Okay, my media thought was like, Nintendo didn't make them PC game. Eh? No, no, there, there, there's like a, there's like a huge ROM hacking scene, and like people are building their own Pokemon games from scratch. And when they're, when they're not being taken down for making Pokemon shooters, <laughs> posting videos on Twitter, you know, you know, they're, they're, they're sneakily getting their shit working in one. Well done, well done, good. Hey, internet, we did it. We got rid of the YouTube gaming bots. No. Yeah. Well. So, well. So, so, someone got rid of them. <laughs> yeah. Uh. The YouTube. YouTube gaming boss. Uh. What's. What's. What's the guy's name? Ryan Wyatt. That's a. Uh, that's a lot of Ys in one name. But. Uh. He. He's leaving. He's going to Zero X Polygon Studios. Uh. Which is a uh, blockchain special interest <laughs> development sig accelerator or something or other. Uh. I guess it's because YouTube gaming doesn't really have much going on. These guys basically backed up a larger dump truck of money than what Google had dumped had, had previously driven to his house and said, yo, you want to come over to our side? And he said, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, I don't, I, I, I don't know. The, the, we, we got some, we got some opinions on, on, on blockchains in gaming and how, I, I don't know. I, I think, I think it's a solution in search of a problem and it's, it's just really annoying to see everyone trying to cram blockchain and like, uh, you you can you can literally get more in, more investors looking at your shit just by throwing the word blockchain at the end of your fucking description. You don't even need to use it. You could just say and we're at blockchain, you guys, and you will get a lot of speculation. Fuck that, investors, call me. I want to tell you about my meta chain verse. V- VR meta chain. Uh, yes, the meta chain verse. It's a virtual <laughs> blockchain in the meta. R- running in DOS. Is- yes. The thing that kind of triggered my little bit in the show notes was the one of the quotes that the uh, the dude put out, which was, uh, he understands the issues and concerns that people have with blockchain video games. Uh, and then they give an example of one. Uh, it's like, people don't quite understand what the game is all about or believe that it's not for them. Um, look. The reason that people don't like the current iterations of uh, blockchain video games is because they're shit. Just like all of the games that already existed that were focused around microtransactions, they were shit. They're, it's no different. And yes, I can see like the blockchain being used for something like 
Okay, let's use the current uh, trending word, the metaverse. If you have a metaverse hosted by a certain company, probably not Facebook, uh, that is hosting a multitude of different MMORPGs and say you start a character in one, but then it's not really your thing. So you, instead of losing your progress, you take your character with everything you've accumulated and you bring it over to a different one. But, that but, is a very good use of but even that then, kind of technology. Like, <laughs> the, su- su- such a setup like that is so obscenely complicated from a backend perspective. Like it's, it's yes. not, it's not feasible. <laughs> Fine. And, listen, you know, we'll use two metaverses. It'll work. Yeah, exa- <laughs> and, and I mean like, so, so appa- apparently zero X polygon shtick is going to be like addressing the interoperability and ener- energy efficiency and security issues. I personally don't think they'll succeed, but you know, prove me wrong, right? Like change my mind. Well, that's what a, that. And I think a lot of us when like somebody was in charge of YouTube gaming, Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, <laughs> I, I mean, he was clearly bored at work. He wasn't doing anything, so he well, that's got a new one job. of the things we brought up in the previous <laughs> super show. And you imagine being giving something at you know Alphabet parent overlord company, like, hey, you're in charge of YouTube gaming now. Like, great. <laughs> a year later, you're like, I got all this stuff done. Look at this, and Google's like, uh, who are you? Oh, YouTube gaming. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. oh, so, yeah, okay. that's that's the name I haven't heard it's in a very YouTube long time. YouTube proper or Google proper or yeah. yeah. <laughs> so um, I I don't know. We just thought we needed to report on that because you know what, Twitch needs competition, and it's sure the fucking Google right now. No, maybe they'll no, get somebody don't, don't worry. to do something. F- F- Facebook's trying. <laughs> you, you funny guy. <laughs> Yeah, funny, 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 <laughs> funny. I'm I'm very cute, just like a, gi- a giant pile of slimes we're gonna abuse in the game we're throwing chairs at. <laughs> Coming up next, cruelty. <laughs> Welcome back to the Chairquisition, that part of the show where we take a game and we run it on a bunch of different Linux distributions uh, with semi-similar hardware well there's a lot of ryzen cpus there's a lot of <laughs> nvidia cards we, we 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 try to spread it out where we can but then we give you our ultra scientific uh authoritative score based on the most concrete of metrics lawn chairs if you're if you are not measuring things in lawn chairs you're just you're just fucking up you're just a bad scientist i don't i don't care <laughs> uh this week we're taking a look at alchemic cutie uh done by vacio and viridian software on the mini 2dx the java engine you can pick it up for about 20 bucks what is it alchemic cutie is a wholesome relaxing rpg set on colorful wimba island while while taming wild jellies you meet villagers enter jelly competitions and uncover the secrets of the island we gotta thank uh vacio for sending us some keys uh so yeah let's get into it pedro Tell us how Alchemic Cutie worked on KDE. Did you have to rename the ex- the executable to Alchemic Cutie with a K instead of C? No, no, fortunately not. And uh, what surprised me the most was this is an open source Java based engine that's going to come up. Stick around. Uh, yeah, it launched out of the box. Uh, VSync is effectively a lie. Uh, if it weren't for the free sync uh, window on this monitor being as wide as it is, I probably would. Um, I don't know, it probably wouldn't do quite as well. But yes, uh, it doesn't go up to 144. Uh, it only seems to go up to 120, which tells me it's probably doing just double buffering up from 60. But hey, that's better than FNA. Uh, the controllers uh, worked out of the box. I tried the um, DualShock 4, the DualSense, and the Biomonk GameSir uh, controller. That's effectively the Xbox clone type of thing. Everything worked with the correct glyphs. That's right. A Java-based engine got that right. Uh, so, yeah, where's your god now, Unity? Uh, and the music, it, it falls very much in line with the cutesy outlook uh, that the game is very clearly going for. And the graphics, well, you, if you're looking at the video version, you can absolutely see them on screen. They're your typical Stardew Valley type of situation. Uh, as for the fun, well... To my scrub sensibility of someone who doesn't really enjoy Slime Rancher or Stardew Valley, Alchemic Cutie, is, it seemed like a hybrid of the two. It did. I mean, look at it. You, it, it it's Stardew Valley, but you're herding up slimes. Yeah. <laughs> so after uh, I'd reached that conclusion, I don't really enjoy, you know, the menial work genre that those games tend to fall into. I went to look at the Steam reviews. Uh, and it seems like a lot of people had the same idea. 
But those who claim to enjoy both Stardew Valley and uh, Slime Rancher uh, seem to think that Alchemic Cutie only takes the boring mechanics from those games and focuses on them, which left me confused because I thought that that was the point. It's the menial chore-like gameplay. Apparently this game pads everything out and makes chores to unlock more chores. Like, yeah, yeah, that that's always been what these games were about. So I honestly don't know what to think anymore. Well, I do. I, I, I don't really think that Alchemic Cutic is uh, fun, but uh, I like that it is a Java-based game, which has pretty good controller support and does a better job of high refresh rate V-Sync than FNA, for example. But that's a topic for another time. Two chairs. <laughs> All right. Well, on Fedora 35, 64-bit with the R9 3900X and the GTX 1080 Ti, yeah, I brought my computer to its knees. It's my, compu- my my shit's just too old, man. Run, running at like two frames a second. No, no, it's fine. Um, yeah, by the way, you're going to want to uh, change the dialogue noises before you start the game to either mute or the JRPG one. The Lovecraftian chattering that the game emits otherwise is the true survival horror experience that this game will offer. Um, pixel art is clear. There, aren't any char- there isn't any character blindness, although there's not a lot of moving around and shit to be had. Uh, the controls are sanely mapped as well. Uh, my... DualShock 4 worked out of the box. No problems. So, ah, fun-wise, I've spent about an hour so far making hot slime beats, fultoning slimes, beating slime, squeezing slimes, petting slimes, breeding slides, slimes, training slides, tooting at grass to afford <laughs> slime training, flower picking, and mail delivery. Now, if any of that sounds like a rip-roaring good time to you, I'll kind of cutie might be up your alley. But to me, this is just a lot of busy work. Uh, and you know what? There's certainly a lot to do. And for folks who just want to zone out and do fetch quests, yeah, this might be fun for you. Not for me, though. It's a lot of... I, I, I don't know. I, know. I never really got into like the Harvest Moon, the Stardew Valley, or the Slime Rancher genre of games. So I never really got into, I guess, what you would call this sort of grinding, where... It's kind of grinding for the sake of grinding. There's no point. You're not like leveling up a character to, you know, have mechanically superior stats to put up better numbers than other people. No, you're just trying to do do stuff, which I get is what people like to do. I'm just not one of those people. Um, I I think I think like technically it's definitely a fair shake and um, it's definitely kudos to the devs for that. But just from like an overall package, I'm going to give it one chair. I didn't really enjoy it, frankly. Whoops. Aha. <laughs> See, just one. <laughs> just the one. <laughs> All right. Um, spoilers. Let's uh take that. There we go. All right, check this out, ladies and gentlemen. Everything worked out of the box, including the controller. I used my X clone, gonna give it to you one S controller. Had the right buttons, that was nice to see. Till I tried to set some white points and that didn't work very well. Not at all with the Xbox controller. It was impossible. However, as you might imagine, on the 2060 with the 1920X Threadripper combo, I was able to deliver 2160p at 60 frames per second. That's such a sweet sight. Now, windowed and full screen, it worked. But I had to fight. I had to fight to get it back on the correct monitor, because the second I took it out of full screen, it shot immediately to my leftmost monitor, as some games do. And I had to pump it up and down and left and right and just fuck around with the resolution. I finally got back on the right screen at 2160p. Full screen. Everything was great. You can toggle run, by the way. Yay. I don't know why anyone would ever have that off. Now, to what Jordan was saying, thank you, Flying Spaghetti Monster. You can disable the moon speak gibberish sounds when people talk. That immediately got noped. You could just cut the volume all the way down. So you can't hear it. Thank you so much for that. Now, with that out of the way, I have to admit, I really like the core mechanic of Alchemic. Cutie, uh, just just running around ripping jellies from the wild and forcing them into a life of factory farming. <sighs> I mean, <laughs> you even get to force feed them like select menu items to produce desired results. It's dark, but it's nice. Nice touch there. Now, the trauma caused by factory farming your little jelly guys uh, being in captivity, they just straight up die if you're not like super attentive. So. Yeah, interesting, interesting. It's it's, it's uh, animal cruelty. Maybe if that maybe that's not your thing, man. There's um, Pedro and Jordan pointed out tons of fetch quests to keep you busy. But after seventy plus minutes of derping about, I have to call this what it is. This is a something to do simulator. Now you've heard me say that before. Let me put a finer point on it. We're not talking about I'm home from a long day at work. I need something done. One simulator. Nay, it's not what I'm saying. 
you know, this, this is, I need something to fill the empty void, which is my existence type of simulator, you know, busy work, something to do. But if that's your gem, you know what? This cutie seems to do a mediocre job of delivering, well, you know, according to the types of people who are into these things, an okay job. It, it's serviceable. I kind of went back and I looked at the reviews. Some people thought it was all right. And other, you know, I didn't see any glowing reviews, but I'm like, yeah, it, it's serviceable. I'll give it that. It looks all right. The sound is appropriate for the genre. And, you know, it's competently done on a technical level. Now, you do have to overlook not being able to set those waypoints with a controller. So you're probably going to be playing with your keyboard and dribble. However, you know, Steam and a lot of the reviews compared this to Stardew Valley. And I got to point out, it's also $4 more than Stardew Valley, which I would say is a better game. I even want you. Now, gentlemen, to be yeah. fair, to be fair, this is none of our genres. No, <laughs> this is this is this this is barking up the wrong tree for sure. Um, yeah, I I think like I probably probably like a, a, a more educational take would have been to just give this to my girlfriend because she's usually into. The I was going to ask. This looks like something Nori might fuck around with for a minute. No. No. Uh, Nori is very much into like the puzzle type of games. These stuff like Stardew Valley, she doesn't really enjoy. Yeah. So <laughs> I, 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 don't, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, know. I mean, I, like something like this, like I could probably go through the motions easier if this had a stronger, this is exactly where you need to go for like maybe the first two hours and like do this, yeah, do this, do I, this, do this. I think, a, I think a mini map would also be really handy. Cause like, yeah. I don't know where the fuck shit is. Right. Like, and I don't want a map taking up the whole screen the whole time and I can't move yeah, while that's up. Yeah. So, like yeah. back and forth, back and forth. <laughs> All right. What, which way do I need to go? Oh, there's, there's a block here. So I gotta like go back and around. And yeah. It's, yeah, just, just 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 some kind of indication of where the fuck to go. But hey, if you're into like skirting uh, the blobs with balloons and choking them out <laughs> while they fly back <laughs> automatically to your um, did, 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 uh, I did like the did, Fulton did, recovery system for the uh, the slimes. I thought that yeah. was wonderfully you, out of play. <laughs> if if you, if you want your resources back too, you can also like squeeze the shit out of your slimes until they vomit up all the food you fed them. It's mm -hmm. yeah, it's, it's the whole thing. I, um, I gotta give it credit. I mean, it did in text form. It, it's got a sense of humor about it though. I mean, in all seriousness, it does an attempt was made at the funnies. I mean, it did the roll on floor laughing abbreviation. I think, Twice? Yeah, Rufflecopter twice in the first five <laughs> minutes. Like, non-ironically, though. Yeah. I, I, I don't know. The, the the dialogue didn't really catch me, so... Mm, it could be know. your thing, though. Maybe we're sure. It could it be. Out. Yep, definitely. All right, well, coming up next, we find out where spiders keep their libraries. Because it's Ooh. not in user local bin. Uh -huh. It's in slash web. <laughs> it's the end. How did you get here? Did you uh, use the uh, timestamps to get here? Because nope. if you did, kudos. No one does. Motherfucker, uh, the... I left the plane in the background. <laughs> I used the blockchain. <laughs> in the metaverse. But yeah, this is the hate mail. This is, chances are we probably uh, said something that you didn't like or that you very much appreciated during the show. And if you'd like to get in touch with us and let us know just how much you appreciated it or how much you hated it, it's right there in the name, hate mail. Go to LinuxGameCast.com, hit the contact button on the nav bar, and you get, well, you get some caveats at the top, and then you get the form that you got to fill in. LGC Weekly is the show that you send your hate mail to. Otherwise, you can ask uh, Ven and Jill uh, some questions or leave some feedback for the Wednesday show. You can ask Jordan for relationship advice. But uh, the caveats, those are important. You um should read them. <laughs> No, reading's hard, Pedro. Reading I don't hard. know how to read. <laughs> read hard. Can, 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 can you give it to me in cave drawings forms? So apparently... I can, but it's going to take like 200 years. <laughs> apparently, there was some discussion last week about uh, where things go. You know, architectures, 32-bit, 64-bit. Remember when you end up in opt? Like, is this fucking thing mm -hmm. installed in opt? Yeah, I yes. like if, again. Again, if it's an opt, I probably put it there, or me or Google. <laughs> Google is usually Google. Yes. <laughs> Get down to uh, in. Uh, yeah, forward slash stop. I thought that was for binary packages, not from your repo. And use local was what mm -hmm. you built. <laughs> I guess you meant USR. No, no, no. Man, 
This guy's over. living in the 25th century. I mean, be. I mean, you, 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 I mean, it's Linux, right? You can make your like slash use local. That, you can all stuff. Yeah. Hey man, you you can light a system up. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, see, uh, see that, 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 that's that, that that's going to be the new feature of Entitlement OS. Is that we're going to change the letters <laughs> on all the main directories by just one? So it's going to be like. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to tell you what I'm renaming the home directory. That's bad. Um, <laughs> but yeah, no, that, that uh, in theory uh, is correct, Katana. Uh, it's just distros nowadays, they don't give users uh, right permissions to USR local. It's still a root folder. So the stuff that you build for yourself is going to end up in your home anyway. So what the fuck is USR local doing there anymore? And... Uh, yeah, opt is also a relic that only Google uses, apparently. <laughs> well, I, I mean, op, opt and user local are kind of the 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 same idea. Like, it's either local user user stuff or optional software that came. Well, for, I, the, I don't know. for the longest time, the thing that I would always see in opt, and this is from back in the day, was KDE. Mm. That's where KDE fucking landed. Everything else yep. was in USR local user KDE's like, fuck that. <laughs> ah, bitches. <laughs> These days, Chrome and um, DaVinci Resolve and Adore and Mixbus and stuff like that. But kind of to hint at, like with me, Opt is the last place I look. It is like, are you seriously at Opt? There you are. Oh, okay, got it. Should have paid attention when I was installing it. My bad. Please have an uninstall yeah, file. No, uh the Mojo installer games uh, that like to put games in USR local game. It's like, really? So, <laughs> so here, 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 here's the, th- here's the thing though. The re- the reason that user local is right protected is because you don't want like any user to be able to like deploy system wide installed files. Mm-hmm. Right. Like, so, you know, you know, you, you need to have someone at least do sudo there, but you know, if, if you're a lazy admin, just, Chmod your user opt or chone your user opt, and then you can just stick all your software there. Well, I mean, it it is very interesting to think about like the origins or when something starts, like in Genesis, as a multi user operating system, just the Mm -hmm. design choices that are made versus something like Windows. Like, what say everything? (laughs) Say, like, where where, where, where the basic shit's located? (laughs) No, it's under C users. App data, local, low, roaming. Oh. No, no, but is it app data or application data? Because those it's, are two it, different folders. That's, that's true. <laughs> and somewhere program files is still hanging out because I ran across yes, this the other there's day. There's programs like, and program files. Why? Why? Because fuck you. That's why. And, and, and program files x86. The op directory of somewhere. Windows. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> what do we have up next? We're talking about arachnids. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this is from Ertain, and they say it was nice of the developer of Spiders Everywhere to go on the Godot Engine forums and ask if their game ran on Linux, just to make sure that it ran well. And you know what? We've been saying this for a while. Yes, solicit yeah. feedback from your users. This is the whole point of early access, is that you can put early builds in front of your player base and have them QA it for you. Um, so, I mean, maybe maybe you don't necessarily go on forums and ask for volunteers. Maybe utilize the community and player base that you've cultivated i guess maybe if you don't have that then you need to go on forums and try and cultivate the player base and community or maybe stop yelling at people in your steam description well i think there's also something to be said is like if you're going to ask for this like especially when you do it on reddit if you're a potential you know game designer and you're thinking about putting it on, i know ayrton's been working on games uh more to the wise Mean what you say. Don't like, hey, would you come check out my game by the way? As like, you know, a low key way of sliding in your store link because you're going to get bug reports. Yeah, you're, you're soliciting mm-hmm. feedback. You got to mm-hmm. be willing to accept that feedback, whatever it is, right? If you're asking for people's opinion, they're going to give it to you. <laughs> that, that's Just usually like how that X. goes. <laughs> you mean Waylon? Waylon going to give it to you? I no, are you DM trying Wayland? to say back yeah. in your day fam- X here too? <laughs> fa- fa- fam- famous rapper DM Wayland. It's my he's my favorite. <laughs> Google it. With, 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 with your you. song, y'all gonna Real make me thing. lose my brain. DM Wayland. <laughs> DM Wayland. <laughs> DM Wayland. You know, you know if, if it exists now. Fucking yeah. shit. <laughs> and, and if you pick your rapper name uh, as DM Wayland. Based on our opinion, at least, you know, give us a nudge instead of some hate. Yeah. No. G- g- no, g- g- give us a shout out in your raps. Come on. Shout out LGC. Yeah. <laughs> and the breakout album. 
cheese in my face. <laughs> yeah. Vel- Velveeta homicides. <laughs> All right. On that bombshell, let's go ahead and cue the music. You'd always find us around 8.30 Eastern Standard Time, unless you're one of the awesome people making this nonsense possible. Didn't show up an hour earlier, Death Note, or above. If you're an executive producer, we've got a live video feed for you. But I'm talking about the pre-pre-super shows, and that is the show before the show. An extra hour of content available in podcast form and all the other cool things. Now, if you want to get a hold of me, just at Vin Stone on Twitter. I'm there. You can slide in my DMs if you want. I'll never see them. But hey... You can say you tried, or you can use the contact form like a regular person. Also, hit me up in our Discord or IRC. I am there. I am available. If you have questions, thoughts, hints, allegations, or, hey, check it out, mass.linuxgamecast.com. Have been, yeah, just that Vin there. And uh, I'm doing the Mastodon thing. I'm tooting. That's what the kids do on Mastodon. It's your boy, DM Waylands, the number five greatest <laughs> rapper in all of Linux rapperdom. You can find my sick freestyle beats on Twitter at the Burning Fool or twitch.tv. Available at Fool. Costco during the holiday seasons. Oh, man. Best <laughs> rapper in Canada. Yeah. I don't know. I thought people went on Macedon just to look at porn. There's a lot of that. But uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, at unaccounted for on Twitter. That's your, where you can find me. Uh, that's that's the social media that I use the most. So hit me up on there. <laughs> Credits. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you can. It's it's a kind of techno music. It's 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 like <laughs> if John Zorn made a technology techno album. was involved. Uh-huh. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> It makes noise. Y'all are gonna make me lose my mind. We gotta thank our patrons, our ex- our advisors, the topmost guys. Come on, load up. Uh, Omega, Sartheran, and our executive Omega producers, Alias, our uh, Barbara, <laughs> Scott Michaud, Mr. Fox Dog, Atomic Ass, Mike G, Mike T, Drummer, Kohaku, and George, and our Linux fans, Chicago Kicks Ass, uh, Darkwing, and Abstraction. Yeah. Sea Monsters, Jack, Renault, Rider X, Machina, Trudgy, Veritanuda, Justin, Frostclawed, Strider, with the Death Notes, coming in, Nova K, Basil, Chad, Romeo, Marson, System T, Craig, Renee, Leonardo, DeCresny, Kim, Smashly G, Chris, Stephen Jill, Benjamin, Doom 2.Watt, Steve, Dirty Dean, back. Uh, can't read anymore. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I'm trying to find DM Whalen. Doesn't exist. So, yes, we might have come to them. Thanks to all our fine upstanding cables. Yeah, Carl, boy. Mike, <laughs> and Linux, Nero, Aldeus, Nicholas, John, Eshap, and Game of Tron. You are truly. And George and brilliant. Yannick, thank you both so much, our newest Patreons. Very yes, much appreciated. Yeah. <laughs> come race bye with bye. us on Tuesday. Zoom, zoom. Zoom, zoom. Yeah, it's just like I'm driving my car with my zoom, zoom stick. <laughs> Not brought to you by Mazda. Mazda, sponsor us, damn it. Give us some cars. Five dudes.